Hello and welcome to the Hope and Nevins for Teens podcast. It is me, Zion, and I'm back as your host for today's Hope and Nevins for Teens podcast. And I'm, well, I'm your host. And the topic for today is fan your strengths. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for everything you've done for us. We thank you for who you are, all you mean to us. We thank you that you are God. Thank you that no man on this earth is God or will ever be God unless there's on earth and all the people on it will be doomed to damnation. No, I just thank you that your love, you love us too much. Too, your love is so unconditional that you sent your only son, the, the thing you love the most, to die just for us. And yet half the people in this world, less than half the people in this world don't even appreciate it. But you gave your son up for free so that there might be hope to live in the future, to have a future that they might be open. There is hope for the people who believe in your son. Lord, I just thank you for that great sacrifice. Lord, I ask that you give us the grace, boldness to talk about the word, to preach about the word, oh God. I ask that you bless us and touch our lips and give us tongues of fire to be able to preach and talk about the gospel. Spread the gospel out to people who need it, to people so you won't be alone, oh God. I know you can never be alone, but so your sacrifice, the sacrifice of your son wouldn't be wouldn't be wouldn't be useless. Wouldn't be Lord, I ask that you continue to help us in everything, Lord. In just name, Amen. Once again the topic is fan your strengths. The memory verse is taken from Philippians chapter 4 verse 13 and it says I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me and um the Bible reading is taken from Judges chapter 6 verse 11 to 15 and verse 11 says and there came an angel of the Lord and sat under an oak tree which is an orpa that pertained unto Joseph the Abijah and his son Gideon treasured with by the one wine press to hide it from the Midianites verse 12 and the angel of the Lord appeared unto him and said unto him the Lord is with thee thou mighty man of valor verse 13 and Gideon said unto him oh my Lord if the Lord be with us has then all this befallen us and where be all his miracles which our fathers told us about saying did not the Lord bring us up out of Egypt but now the Lord has forsaken us and delivered us into the hands of the Midianites verse 14 and the Lord looked upon them and said go in this thy might now thou shalt save Israel from the hands of the Midianites have I not sent thee verse 15 and he said unto him oh my Lord where where would shall I save Israel beyond my family is poor for in Manasseh, and I am the least in my father's house. Well, actually, guys, we actually have a confession, a daily confession, and it says, Be a vessel of evangelism and share these life changing messages, prayers, declaration with the people around it, like I was saying before. And the confession is, I confess that God's promises for my life are pure and steadfast. I patiently await the manifestation of His promises, for He who promised is faithful. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. If you needed to listen to or read the daily um, confession, you can always go back to the web page for April 29, 2024, where you can just replay that segment I just read. The message is written in that the Jews point of view because it was the Holy Spirit who inspired the Jews to write the whole Open Heavens routine series. Now, you know, teens, parents, adults, babies, toddlers, do anything. And that's just a small part that with the power of the Holy Spirit you can achieve. And the message says no one was born perfect. All human beings have a measure of weaknesses that they deal with at different times. However, some people have harnessed their strengths and some are doing great despite their weaknesses. For instance, do you know Gideon was the least in his father's lineage? And this is an interjection, the least, meaning like he was the last one that um 
if you were to listen, um, like if his father was to die, that um, Gideon will be the last person to ever get that blessing or birthright from his father. That he has to go through every sibling, every one of them. That, that all of them will have to go before Gideon will be able to get his the thing. That means he's the least, the very last, getting stepped on by his sibling last. And in fact, he had an inferiority complex that was so strong enough to shrink him from the presence of an angel. He gave many excuses for not being able to lead God's people in battle, yet the angel addressed them as the mighty man of valor. Beloved, there is greatness in you, and you should do things that amplify your great your strength while you work on your weaknesses with the help of the Holy Spirit. Keep friends that will encourage, support, and help you focus on your strengths. Read books on self-development, work on your character, and take responsibilities that will enable you to manifest your best self. The action point is for today is, I declare that I am great, I am mighty, I am strong, I do exploits for God in Jesus' name, and I just want you to say that every Every day you wake up, I am great, I am mighty, I am strong, I do exploits for God in Jesus' name, amen. If you enjoyed this podcast, make sure you share so your friends and family will be blessed. Make sure you go back to the page and actually read, meditate, let the Holy Spirit speak to you, and bye, God bless you.